Well, hi, Kelly. I think I've seen both of these before. They look just the same as what you submitted um, as drafts. And uh, thank you for turning your work in early. Of course, one of the reasons to post a draft is in order to try to use the feedback that you get. Um, looking at the digital color wheel, it's a wheel, so to speak. I mean, the idea is that it's called a wheel, and perhaps it might be round, too. I see red at the top of the left branch and green at the top of the center branch. Those are the perfect red and perfect green. Um, and blue on the right side of the right branch in the middle. And I was just thinking it'd be great if those primaries, those light primaries, were um, somehow set apart. Well, here's Sarita's color wheel, and gee, you know, she posted a draft, um, which was kind of rough, and, and that's fine. And, and now this has really been shaped up, which is so nice. You know, everyone in class did quite a polished job on um, creation of the painted color wheel. I'm very impressed by what everybody's accomplished there. Um, Sarita, if there was anything I could suggest uh, with this color wheel, it, it would be maybe to... Uh, decrease the interval between blue and blue green and yellow and yellow green but otherwise things look perfect well hi nicole like kelly i'm going to refer you to the picture draft reviews that i put in the discussions because i don't believe your color wheels have been changed since drafts and it's great to get your work in early um, it's even better if you can take advantage of suggestions that are given on your drafts. Now, um, one thing I do want to talk about a little bit here is your digital color wheel. This has a couple of issues. First of all, um, we need uh, the primaries to be equally far from each other. So, uh, this color wheel includes the light primaries, red, green, and blue. Those three colors in their purest forms per the RGB values that were provided need to be equally far from each other. And if you note, um, red is at the top and blue and green are both way at the bottom and there are extra purples, I believe. So I, I want you to compare this to the little color wheel that I have put in the corner here. Also, I want you to be sure that you start your files in RGB color mode. And if you look to announcements, there's an explanation of how to do that. If you start in CMYK, there's no way to get the increased array of colors in RGB for any work you've already done. So check that when you start. Gee, Carmela, it seems like you've been working quite hard. Here, your painted color wheel, it looks good. Um, maybe a little more um, interval between reds. That might mean that your, that your orange needs to go a little more yellow. Maybe your yellow green could be a little darker. Um, but this is beautiful. Also, a uh, significant change in the digital color wheel. And actually, I thought the other one was quite good. I, I liked it. Some subtlety. It really made me study it. So I think you've wound up here with two great solutions. Um, uh, I, I checked your RGB values, and they seem pretty good for um, the, the primaries and secondaries. I guess I, I could add something about the design. Um, it seems like the uh, center stars are different. They're not symmetrical, unlike the shapes outside. So either mix the shapes up, in other words, put some squares in the center and some stars on the outside, or let the center shapes be diamonds or regular, like the outside shapes. Hi, Crystal. This work looks good. Um, I think these might be the same as we saw in drafts. However, the digital color wheel has an improved red, if I'm judging correctly. Um, so see my notes about the uh, painted color wheel in drafts. And also, with a digital color wheel, perhaps cyan is too much of a jump from its immediate neighbors. Uh, this is good work. As with all of these color wheels, this is a really neat job, Carol. You know, perhaps areas that might um, stand to be improved are the blue-violet and the yellow-green. Um, otherwise, very nice. Well, hi, Michelle. You know, your paint color wheel looks quite good. Um, 
with the blue violet to the red violet uh, perhaps those colors could have used the tiniest touch of white also to get the best red i suggest if you've got the colors i recommended mixing both reds together um and you know sometimes when the paint comes out of the tube it's it's very thick so mixing in a little bit of water makes it more brushable um, so onto your digital color wheel and some of these RGB values are right on. I also think your arrangement is pretty good though it's not clear you use the grid guides or snapping. Um, uh, remember that fully saturated colors will be found in the top rightmost corner of the color picker and uh, uh, you know I do enjoy this design and it shows competency with the software. Well, hi, Craig. You know, I believe I'm seeing all this work of yours for the first time. But uh, even if you don't get to post a draft, I want you to look at my drafts review because I think that should help you. Uh, issues that other people struggle with may well be the same ones you're contending with. Well, let's see. Here, um, the violets need a little attention, and there could be more uh, interval between your uh, reds and oranges. Uh, perhaps there's a big jump from yellow to its immediate neighbors in the painted color wheel. Um, in the digital color wheel, you know, you show proficiency with um, the ideas we're dealing with. I know that your RGB values are correct. I pulled out the guides, and I don't think that you've used guides, grid or snapping. And with something that's nearly symmetrical, I, I think you have to take it all the way. Either let it be non-symmetrical or fully symmetrical. Um, and I wanted to mention to you, if you're in Photoshop, for instance, edit, uh, transform, rotate as a command that will help you to sort of budge things into place, for instance, with the Pentagon. Hi, Kathy. Um, looking at your painted color wheel, this is quite neat. I, I, I'm really astounded by the amount of care that everybody's invested into these. Um, with regard to your blue-violet and other violets, um, maybe the tiniest touch of white. I feel as though you've used that tactic with the blue, but it can be put to use also with the violets. More interval with the um, red and oranges, and maybe yellow-orange needs to look a little more orangey. I know sometimes colors shift at touch when they're scanned. Onto your digital color wheel, this is a beautiful idea. And um, uh, let's see, I checked the RGB values for the red. That's the only one that's off, so I think that must be just a little mistake. And I'm sure you're acquainted with the up, down, right, left keys for making um, minuscule changes in placement. There are a couple of areas where the placement might be um, neatened up a bit, but on the whole, this is a lovely work. Hi, Israel. You know, um, looking at your painted color wheel, I can see a lot of care was invested there. Um, about red, you know, in order to get a good red, well, you must have good red straight from the tube, um, but I mix the two together, the orangey red and the purplish one. So that's um, probably going to be quinacridone and cadmium red light. Um, otherwise, well, you know, I see your yellow green is looking awfully yellow and your blue and blue violet are looking quite similar. It seems as though your blue green has some white in it which is making it look a little more turquoise. Of course I did suggest using the tiniest touch of white in the blues and violets. Now onto your digital color wheel. Well this is a beautiful design. Um, following it as a color wheel is, is a, a little hard. I wish the primaries and secondaries had been uh, exaggerated a bit. Um, but this is a creative solution. The um, RGB values are pretty good. Just India, this is a, a beautiful digital color wheel. Um, however, it seems a little more like a cousin to a color wheel. I do want to encourage creative solutions, though, um, like yours and also Israel's, just above in the uh, in the film strip. You know, when I check your RGB values. These are not all coming up as fully saturated, though most of the primaries and secondaries are correct. I would like you to double check magenta. Now let's take a look at your painted color wheel. You know, I think you probably got a heavy board which would have been hard to cut. You know, the, the paper upon which you painted. Um, most colors are looking okay, but remember we want even intervals so your green and blue green are perhaps a little close. And um, 
with the blues and violets add the tiniest touch of white to reveal the hue.